When I saw this, I just kind of couldn't believe that it was true. I thought there's no way. And I saw the examples and they had all these, they did these examples in front of me and they said, here, you do it. And I did it with smaller pipe. And then they had some examples they'd showed of bigger pipe. And again, there's that skeptic like, but I always thought that the glue melted the plastic together. There's no way it comes apart. And yet here it is. And I'm blown away. I, I can tell you, this is the first time I've ever done this. I hadn't played with it before. It literally came out of the box right here with the material, with the, the manual and all of that was right here. I literally took it out of the box, plugged it into the wall, and I, we started filming. And there's the example of that piece of pipe being removed from the socket fitting. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again, and we're going to start. This, this means PVC. So just to run through this real quick. Um, that's CPVC, uh, the P is for PVC, Schedule 20, Schedule 40, Schedule 80, and then you also have ABS plastic if you're doing an ABS plastic, Schedule 40, so, or CPVC, Schedule 80. So we have Schedule 40 pipe, and we're doing 2.5 inch. I'm going to put it in, just like we did a few minutes ago. And the unit's a little bit awkward, I suppose, but definitely functional. It serves its purpose. It does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. You want to center it on that. You want a plumbing center directly in there, and I'm going to hit the start button. So this is the extraction tool that is used to pull the inner piece of pipe out. And I was just noticing here is the fitting itself is just barely warm to the touch. So it's, it's heating just the inside. It's not heating the entire pipe. It's not heating the entire fitting, just the inside pipe. And we're running down here to the last 10 seconds. The unit now turned off. It's no longer glowing. When it goes down to zero, Basically, it's saying it's ready. Pull it out. What's recommended, they say at 3 o'clock, or at 9 o'clock and at 3 o'clock, test to see if the pipe is separated out or not. And then you're supposed to work with a little bit of practice. Here's the maiden voyage for this unit, and it just completely move, removed that piece of pipe from this fitting. So here's the piece, it's still warm, you can see how it disfigured as I twisted it out. But now that unit is barely warm to the touch and is clean, and once that cools off the rest of the way, there's just a little bit of heat at the top here, we can go ahead and clean it, prime it and glue another piece in there. So there is the maiden voyage of this particular debonder. This this unit is good from half inch up to three inch pipe. They also make one that's four to six inch and then they make one much bigger for much larger pipe. But this one is really good for the pool industry because up to three inches is pretty standard plumbing. So I'm going to run to do it again here. We have another fitting here. This is a schedule 40, uh, 45 with a piece of pipe that was glued inside. Again, we cut this off of a job and I'm going to next debond this and pull it out of there. So here we go. Again, we just heated this particular pipe and the fitting, the pipe inside the fitting. The recommended is to test the edges and then start at the top, slowly work it in, and then rotate it around. Pull the pipe out of the fitting. So here it is. Again, perfectly removed piece of schedule 40 pipe from a two and a half inch 
45. That's what happens once you pull it up. You can see the pipe is really soft. It's hot, but fitting is clean and ready to be reused.